Yavuz is the second Turkish ship to embark on a drilling mission. Another ship, Fatih, has been at work in the Mediterranean Sea since November. Greek-administered Cyprus says Turkey is violating its exclusive economic zone. It and Greece want the EU to take action against Turkey. I had the opportunity to speak with the Cypriot president Nikos Anastasiadis to discuss and to formulate together on a diplomatic level and within the framework of the European Union, of which we are both members, the steps Cyprus and Greece must take. And we've agreed to prepare the ground in the coming week for the EU summit to take the appropriate decisions, even sanctions against Turkey, if it is verified that there has been drilling by Turkey in the Cypriot exclusive economic zone. Ankara has dismissed the threats. The Greek Prime Minister has been talking nonsense about the Eastern Mediterranean issue. He may continue to do so. I told him clearly that we have rights there, and in exercising our rights, our exploratory ships and drilling ships will do their jobs in the Eastern Mediterranean, and our military will continue to guard those vessels. Turkey admits drilling has been conducted, but says it's been on the Turkish continental shelf. It also says Greek-administered Cyprus has long denied Turkish Cypriots their fundamental rights, including security and their fair share in the island's economic prosperity. Turkey's energy minister Fatih Dönmez says exploration work will continue until the end of next month. In the meantime, Ankara says some Western countries need to cut down on sabre rattling and intimidation. Failing that, the Turkish president says Turkey knows how to secure its rights by other means. Hassan Abdullah, TRT World, Ankara.